Hey guys, get level here. And ever since I got the stream deck from Elgato, I have a problem. I cannot stop making custom buttons. <laughs> so today, this is a quick video to show you a button template that I made and I want to share with you for free. Even though the button template that I'm going to share with you today is a PSD file, a Photoshop document, I am also going to show you towards the end of the video how to modify it, how to get it uh, for free by using a web-based software called Photopea that actually is able to open PSD files as well. So I don't want no, I don't have Photoshop so I can't do it. You absolutely can. Let me show you how. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. I initially made those for my Premiere set. Basically, I have a bunch of custom buttons that I use when I'm editing videos. So I made this particular button style for that set. And I decided, hey, you know what? This is a template. You can add any icon you want and create your own. Now, simply for good practice, what I did is that I also created an active version of it which I don't even use in Premiere I only need one I only use shortcuts I don't need anything that have that can be toggled on and off but anyways if you find any use for it it will be good so we have the normal group and then we have the active group well this is not the same icon let me put it so it makes a little bit more sense there you go so when the button is not pressed it's resting it's normal that's how it looks and then once you press it it will look like that more it's brighter there's more color it pops more so you really can just at a glance know that it's active now how do you customize it what happens here is that if you have any icons you, you gotta add your own icons um, that is png that has a transparent background you can just simply drag and drop them into the specific folders so as you can see here there's two main folders there's active there's normal and within those folders you'll find two other folders that are uh, icon normal or just normal and then icon active or just active so icon is where you drag and drop your icon and technically that's all you have to do if you drag your icon in there it will add all the effects because the effects are applied to the group let me show you an example i'm going to turn this one off for the active and i'm also going to turn this one off for the normal make sure i turn this off uh, try not to have both of the folders um <laughs> visible at the same time anyways so let's say that i have my icons here and those are icons that you can create yourself you can find some on google images uh to make sure you don't you're not infringing copyright or anything of course uh let's say that we want that knife one okay so we would want to go click and drag it and put it well just put it in your canvas here okay uh size it appropriately in photoshop i'm holding alt boom and if you're satisfied with that size press enter and then you just have to drag it into the icon active folder and now it has the color that it needs to have it has the inner glow that it needs to have in order to match it and now from there if i go to the folder the normal folder let me turn off the active folder and turn this one on and i need this knife in there too i can just hold alt to duplicate click and drag it and drop it in the icon normal and that's it. That's all you need to do. Just drag and drop your own PNG files, your own transparent icons with transparent backgrounds and it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. <laughs> now, as for the trend for my videos, I know a lot of you are thinking, I don't have Photoshop. I don't have the budget for Photoshop. I'm not good at art, blah, blah. a lot of excuses. What you want to do is go to photopia.com. Okay. And you can even do that on your, on your phone. If you have to, I think, I don't know. I, I'm not really familiar with Photopia, but you go to file open, you find that PSD file that I made available for you. It will open and boom, look at that. You it's the same thing. And you have two folders. So I wonder how do I work this new, all new, brand new program, uh, the exact same way. You just bring in your, your icon, drag, drop, resize, hold alt and shift to maintain proportions, place it wherever you want, boom. And then you drag and drop it into the correct folder, active, boom. It takes the, uh, the effect and, and everything that it needs to be the way it looks. Okay. Hold alt drag and drop to the correct folder so in this one is going to be icon normal boom let me turn off the active one make sure i turn on the normal one would you look at that 
it's that simple so in the pack i don't really um there's gonna be a couple of icons in there but my goal is not to make a pack with a thousand icons that you know you're only gonna use three of them or they don't match what you want or whatever so i i'd rather give you the template so that you can make your own stuff so you know what you're gonna <laughs> be needing you know what you're gonna use i don't <laughs> and it also allows me to make it free for you guys so you're wondering, where can I find it? You keep saying it's free. It's on gumroad.com slash get level. You go to that website, you check out it. If you're watching this early, it's probably gonna be the first product up there. So look, it's gonna be a thumbnail that looks like what I showed you. And uh, you can just download it. It's gonna be one PSD file, okay? I might put like a couple of pictures as an example, but it's just gonna be that PSD file, okay? And then you can use that to make whatever uh, icon you want. Okay, so the pack is free, but one thing that I, I shouldn't have to say but i'll still say it is that you can use it for whatever you want you can modify it however you want the only thing that you can't do is one pretend that you made it from scratch two uh, sell it to other people please don't use my templates my free templates to sell stuff it's not only not really legal but also morally it's wrong i'm making those things available for people who can't afford them so if you turn around and take them and then sell it to other people it defeats the whole purpose and it's very very scummy please don't do that with my stuff i don't wait uh that's funny i had to go get a package mid video okay so uh <laughs> what was i saying yeah, stop selling my free stuff, okay? And then uh, join the Discord. If you have any questions about live streaming, we're like a thousand streamers in there. So any questions that you have, most likely will be answered there. Also, I have a channel where I post like free stuff all the time. So check it out. I'm going to start doing some uh, random giveaways in there. So, ah oh, man, the stairs. Whew. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any ideas for other stuff that I could, uh, that I could make, other type of assets or whatever. Let me know, and I will see you guys uh, next time. Don't forget, go gumroad.com slash get level, and uh, follow me on social media. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.